Hello everybody, Assassin here back with another Xbox catch-up video. Now I'm going to get right into it. There's not really a whole lot going on, but I don't want to waste your time. I want you to be able to get on with your weekend. So the first thing that I'm going to talk about is that BlizzCon is taking place this week, November 3rd and November 4th. And based on the image on screen, you'll see that they're going to talk about what's coming next for Overwatch 2 and Diablo 4. We kind of know what's going on there. But we'll also get to see some information on the unannounced survival game, which I'm hoping comes to the Xbox console. I know that uh, Blizzard kind of releases a lot of their stuff for PC, but now that they're owned by Xbox, hopefully now they'll make something for the Xbox. Now if you are a Blizzard Entertainment fan, there will be a lot more for you because a lot of those games are for PC, like World of Warcraft and Hearthstone, just to name a few. But for us Xbox players, which is basically what I do this video for, there's not really a whole lot that I expect this year. Now next year, there might be more, just because like I said, Xbox did acquire ABK. Now opening ceremony is over two hours, so if there's any big announcements, it'll probably be during the first two and a half hours of the show. And if there's anything big coming to Xbox players, I'll make sure to put that in a future Xbox catch-up video. Now the next event that Xbox will be attending is Paris Games Week, which is taking place from November 1st through November 5th. Now there will be games present for the attendees to play at over 50 game stations. Games like Stalker 2 and Aura History Untold, those are games that are coming to Xbox but aren't out yet. So they'll have those games for attendees to play along with already released games or games that will be released by them. Like the party game Headbangers Rhythm Royale which is coming to Game Pass this week along with Justin again releasing this week. And then on top of that you'll be able to play games like Starfield and Forza Motorsports which have already been released for over a couple weeks. So I don't think we're really going to get anything new from that show, but it's still one to look out for because you never know. Now we're moving on to the topic of release games. So the first game that I'm going to talk about is Metal Gear Solid Master Collection Volume 1, which was released on October 24th. Now you can buy the whole collection or each game individually digitally. Now I do want to give a warning, I'm not hearing very good things about the console version, which to me is kind of sad because there's a lot of people that will be playing Metal Gear Solid for the first time and this is going to be the first impression and it's going to be bad. So hopefully Konami can get this fixed soon so players can actually enjoy the game like they did back in the day. Then the second game is Ghost Runner 2 which released on October 26th and has a Metacritic score right now of 80 which isn't too bad, and I do actually plan to play this game after I complete the first one. But there's just so many good games out right now, I'm going to put this one on the back burner. Along with Alan Wake 2, which released on October 27th, and has a Metacritic score of 91 on the PC, as the Xbox version doesn't have enough reviews to display a score yet. But I'm only hearing positive things about it, i seen the score for the other console, and I hear that Xbox's version is actually running better. So when said and done, the Xbox version score will probably be anywhere between 87 and 91. This year just has so many amazing games. I mean, even games like Hogwarts Legacy and Starfield that didn't rate as high, they're still amazing games. And I recommend you checking them out. Now in the next topic, we're going to talk about the changes at Xbox. So Phil Spencer is still at the top as the Xbox CEO, but now we have Sarah Bond as the president and Matt Booty as the president of game content and studios, which includes ZeniMax and Bethesda. So I think Matt will be the one making the call if the game is good enough to actually put out or if he's going to give them some more time. And obviously he has to check in with Phil and make sure everything aligns. Now the image on screen shows the Xbox gaming and marketing leadership, and it includes Bobby Kotek, who is there as the chief executive officer of Activision Blizzard, but he'll be replaced in 2024. So this image will change in the near future. Now overall, I think Sarah and Matt are great people that are there to help the Xbox brand grow and giving the players what they want as long as it aligns with Xbox Vision. Both of them are a great reflection of their leader, Phil Spencer, who has turned the Xbox ship around for the good. The future is looking bright for Xbox, and I think it is now on the studios to develop quality games over quantity, as Xbox now has over 30 studios with some working on multiple games. So there's no rush for them to put out the games. Yes, I want to play the games as soon as possible, but I don't want them to release them in the state that they did Redfall, releasing it and then saying that they'll fix it with updates. No, put a great game out and then patch what needs to be fixed, but don't put a broken game out. The Xbox players deserve better, and with the two first party games that released since then with Starfield and Forza Motorsports, I know Xbox is capable of it. Now the last topic is that Phil and team has been putting a lot of flyer miles over the last week visiting the different ABK studios, with the most recent being Activision in Santa Monica, California. 
where an Activision spokesperson was quoted saying, We are a team, Team Xbox, and this is the beginning of our journey. So from everything I've seen from the different team members at all these different studios of Activision, Blizzard, King, it seems like they're happy to have joined Team Xbox. Which is a good thing, people work better at a company that they like. Now us players, can't wait to see what Activision Blizzard brings to Xbox. Now that's going to be it for this week, hopefully you enjoyed the video, you found it informative. Now until next time, Assassinator out.